Today, let's talk about how to transform yourself so you can become a new person uh, and, and essentially become a better person, how to become a better person. What is up, my fellow goal getter? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to become a goal getter, make sure you hit subscribe. We're getting started right now. So I have many stories of transformation. If you've been watching this channel for a while now, you've heard all about them. All about my backstories of, of being a drug addict and overcoming prison and all these things, right? But today I wanna to talk about something that's way more common that I believe that a lot of people watching this right now would relate to, and that is trying to transform myself uh, from a fitness standpoint. Like I struggled with so long with bad eating habits. Like when I came home from prison a little bit over three years ago, I was in the best shape of my life. And then I took that to another level and, and went from 155 solid and cut to, to almost 200, 193 rock solid weight, all muscle gain. But shortly after that, I got involved in my business and my eating habits just went to crap. And uh, since then, it's been a real struggle trying to dial that back in, trying to get that mindset back in. Like I would go and stick to, I tried so many different diet plans, it's ridiculous. And I tried all these different things and I would stick with them for a few days, four or five days, maybe even sometimes a week, rarely, but sometimes even a week. And then I'd go on a two day, three day, four day, or five day binge of eating horrible again. And it was just like this up and down of getting nowhere. And it was so frustrating because you know I knew that I was better than what I was doing. I knew that I had control over my eating habits. I mean, come on now, I've overcame heroin addiction, crack addiction, I over overcame smoking cigarettes. What's a little bit of food, you know? But for some reason, I wasn't getting to where I wanted to be. And eventually I got with a personal trainer that I'm still working with currently. Um, and it wasn't even just the stuff that he's helped me with like in a training aspect because he makes sure my form's great and pushes me to the limits, but really the mindset and getting me back into the right state of mind and thinking about the right things that I was able to finally make this happen. That's what we're getting ready to talk about here right now. So the first step into to making this transformation is you gotta clearly decide exactly what it is that you want. You see, when and this is where I was messing up, when you ask someone what it is is that they want a lot of times they'll sit there for five and ten minutes of telling you of all the things that they don't want but the funny thing is is that we get exactly what we focus on so where I was messing up with this whole um, getting back in shape thing is I was focusing on I didn't want to walk around carrying this extra flesh on my body anymore I didn't want to walk around overweight and fat I didn't want that anymore and that's all I was focusing about I was like I gotta lose this weight I don't I don't want to I don't want this fat anymore until I finally got it drilled into my head through my personal trainer like you're focusing on the wrong things. You're focusing on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. Focus on the V waist, the six pack that you want. Focus on how you want to look in, in, in these marketing videos that you're coming out with with your new products and so forth. Like that was what really finally changed it for me. And, and when we focus on what we do want and we're more clear and specific about it, the more that we can attain those results. And that was that one piece of advice right there, if you don't remember anything from this video, remember that one piece of advice of focus on, on what you want, not what you don't want. The next tip is to uh, get leverage on this. So uh, associate pain and pleasure appropriately, and I talk about this a lot, uh, but it's so important and part of this step is associate so much pain of, of eating that food now and so much pleasure for, for resisting it, you gotta do that in the short term as well in the long term because a lot of times we had that backwards in the short term. We associate pain to resisting that trigger uh, of, the, of the good tasting food and we associate pleasure with eating it because it tastes good. When in all reality, in a long term focus, that's gonna cause us pain and remove our pleasure because the, the good taste only was temporary. It lasted for maybe a moment and uh, now we're walking around feeling guilty about ourselves because we hold ourselves to a higher standard yet we're not living up to that standard. And yeah, external pressure is great and, and motivation that's great and all, but the best motivation, the best, it comes from within. 
internal. When you're when you know that you're not living up to your own standards, that's powerful. And when you can hold yourself accountable and and, and associate so much pain, like I know I'm better than this, and it becomes a must instead of I want to lose weight or I should lose weight. When it becomes no, I can't do this anymore because I have to do it because I know I'm better than that. That's when change happens. That's when lasting change happens. I got a whole video where I go into detail about Lincoln Pain and Pleasure appropriately. Make sure you check it out at the end of this video. Wait till the end. I'll put it in the description below. I'll put a link in there. It's called How to Shape Your Destiny. Be sure to check that out at the end of this video and there's a card for it right there. And if you haven't gotten the Goal Getter Cheat Sheet, I suggest you do so now. This is my step-by-step, six-step process to completely rising up, breaking free, and dominating your life. You can get that right here. The next step is to interrupt the limiting pattern. So what I mean by that is if we're, the word insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result. No matter what you do, if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get the same result. However, success happens when you select a goal and you don't change the goal, but you realize what's working and what's not working and you change your approach until you hit the goal. You never change the goal, you just change your approach to the goal. So a good example of this, of insanity, uh, you ever seen a fly that's trapped in, in a room by a window and it's this keeps on flying straight into the window over and over and over and over again until it dies. And that's insanity because it's trying the same exact approach over and over and over again, getting nowhere. But if the fly would back off the window, change its approach, maybe go out a door and find a different window that's open or, or something, you know, then you'd have a chance of actually living instead of ramming himself straight into that window over and over and over again. So. What I did with uh, with my with my uh, getting in shape uh, journey here is I had to not only just you know uh, focus on what I wanted to help reinstate that pattern of what I wanted and to to break the limiting pattern. I had took us a, a picture, a old older picture, and made it the screensaver on my phone. Because how often do we look at our phones? I don't know the exact number, but if you Google it, it's like a lot. <laughs> Throughout the day, we look at our phones quite a bit, and me especially, I do all my business on my phone. Uh, so every time I look down and I see a picture of myself, and that was a picture of what I wanted. I wasn't focusing on what I didn't want. I focused on the goal weight, the goal of what I wanted, and it was constantly reinforcing it into my head. Uh, a thing you could do, like say if you if you tend to get in arguments with your spouse or, or a friend or so, to interrupt that pattern before you actually get into that pattern, yell, today's a happy day or something, you know, like that's interrupting the pattern. That's that's like, it's going to totally break it up and they're going to, it's going to throw some people off and it's going to help you. you, you might be able to laugh about that afterwards and it might get you to remind yourself of what you really do want instead of focusing on what you don't want. So the very next step is to um, create an, an empowering alternative to that limiting pattern. So a lot of people, when they quit smoking cigarettes, they replace it with eating, um, eating excessive amounts of food and they end up gaining weight because they didn't consciously choose an, alter an empowering alternative. And we're creatures of habit. We are literally designed to avoid pain and to seek pleasure and we might have associated pleasure with smoking cigarettes, the stimulation that we got from smoking cigarettes. I know I did when I smoked cigarettes. So how I overcame cigarettes, uh, I literally decided to uh, eventually, I mean, and I failed over and over. I smoked for 20 years of my life and I failed multiple, multiple times trying to quit. What finally stuck, finally was able to bury that demon uh, was when I replaced that urge that I got, you know, to go get the stimulation from smoking. I replaced it with doing a set of push-ups because I got that same stimulation from doing push-ups and it was an empowering alternative instead of smoking the cigarette. And that's what finally worked for me. So find whatever empowering alternative you have to consciously choose to replace that old limiting pattern. Now that we have consciously chosen a new alternative to the limiting pattern, now we have to condition this new pattern until it becomes consistent. And uh, I read this in Tony Robbins' book, uh, Awaken the Giant, fantastic read by the way. I'll link it up in the description uh, if you wanna check that out. But he talks about, so he's getting this piano fixed and this guy comes over to fix it 
And then at the end of the appointment, he thinks he's just going to pay the guy and be on his merry way. And he has his new piano. And the guy said, all right, I'll be back the next week to, to come back to it. And Tony is like, what do you mean you'll be back? I thought you, 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 you tightened the strings up. It's good. You tuned it. It's good to go, right? And he said, no, I have to come back next week to retighten it so I can condition the strings because they're so thick and strong that if I don't come back and condition them, that they'll pull and loosen up again and then I'll be back the following week after that and then a month after that just to make sure everything's good until they are conditioned to stay at that length and Tony thought to himself what a what a what a very lucrative business you have here but it really hit home with him the concept of the conditioning phase that's exactly what we have to do with these new empowering alternatives uh, these new patterns that we're creating to the limiting ones in order to make it, the the change long term, we have to condition it over and over and over again until it becomes consistent. And another way that you could do that is by mental picturing, imagination. You know, we use our imagination all the time. Anytime we worry about something, we're using our imagination. Anytime we go and create anything in our lives, we imagine it before it actually happens. So instead of worrying about something and using your imagination, in a not so productive way, in an um, unproductive way, use it in a great way by imagining this new uh, way that you want to respond to the old pattern of how you want to respond from here on out. When you get that urge to smoke a cigarette, I want to respond by not doing it, doing a set of push-ups and feeling good about myself instead. Rehearsing this over and over because our brain cannot, our, our brain and our nervous system cannot tell the difference between an imagined experience and a real experience. It, it reacts the same way. Just like if you were to go down a trail and a bear jumped out on the trail, you would literally your your brain your nervous system would soup up your muscles with so would pump them up with so much blood and adrenaline throughout your body that you would run faster than you probably have ever ran before um, and you'd be gone but let's say that that bear was some actor dressed up in a bear costume that looked real and he scared the crap out of you the same thing would still happen you would still run all that the adrenaline and the blood would be pumped through your body and you would still get the heck out of dodge yet you imagine that to be real. So the imagination is powerful. You use it in the right way. And the last step of this process to transform yourself to become a better person is to simply go out and do it, test it. And if it doesn't work, come back, figure out which part of the steps that you're messing up on that you're not fulfilling. Are you linking enough pain and pleasure? Are you focusing on what you want or what you don't want? Uh, are you reinforcing the new pattern? Are you even sele consciously selecting the new pattern? Are you interrupting the old limiting pattern? Figure it out where it is that you're lacking, where you're messing up because you probably won't get it perfect the first time. Uh, it's probably going to take multiple times or you might get it right the first time. That's going to be pretty awesome too. But just don't quit. It's all about how bad you want it. So this process right here is guaranteed to be able to make any transformation and long-term change that you want in your life. I dare you to try it out. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and you wanna watch more videos that are gonna help you make these awesome transformations in your life, make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you know anybody that could benefit from hearing this message, please share it with them because you never know what the right message for the right person at the right time could do. And I greatly appreciate you, my friend. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.